Bacan Chaya Sarang, the heart and hand. And this one is uh, working with the worrying mind. The more you worry about things, the more of a habit it becomes. Worry becomes an addiction. If you don't have something rational to worry about, you'll find something irrational. Worrying about a form of suffering that may or may not appear in the future, you create suffering for yourself in the present. And worry doesn't affect your mental health alone. It depletes your immune system and makes you vulnerable to many kinds of physical illness. So, what can you do? The most important thing is to shift your attention from the object of worry to the experience of worry itself. And what is the first thing you noticed? It has a beginning and an end. Become, it comes and it goes. A very simple observation, but a profound one. Worry is merely a visitor to our mind. It doesn't live there. When worry appears, don't welcome it, but also don't try to drive it away. Recognize worry as worry, an unwelcome visitor. If you do this patiently again and again, you create a new healthy habit of mind, and worry will fade away. Working with the worry mind.